All right, hey, welcome back. I thought this would be a good chance for us to get to catch up. It's been a while, so we were calling this Working Class Guitar, and this is episode number four, where I sit down and just kind of talk about what I've been up to. Every, every day is a different job when you play guitar for a living, and when you're doing things like recording guitar courses, product demos, all those kinds of things, and hopefully making some of your own music, you stumble upon things you didn't think you would stumble upon. For one, for me, the super thin Jim, Dun Jim Dunlop, 0.60 picks. You know, the kind that has the scratchy uh, or the gripped feel. Now, I use the blunt end, so that's automatically going to sound different than just your normal pointed end. Um, but before we do that, let's just take a standard Fender style heavy, right? And here's the point. I'll play just a little line. And then here's the blunt side. Point. Blunt. And I heard about Stevie Ray Vaughan doing that when I was 13, and it stuck with me. So that's why I use the blunt side, and it just kind of works. It's a little warmer sounding. I like it, but let's talk about the revelation I've had with the .88 Jim Dunlop. Ah, that's the 7.3. 8.8. Here we go. It's kind of working for me. The thinner pick is allowing me to kind of... dig in a little bit more and it doesn't push the string out of tune. It helps with my, my feel and my rhythmic sort of approach to playing. Uh, so these are, these are really fun picks. Don't sleep on them, okay? But if you're a point player, you're really gonna dig them. But if you're uh, a shoulder player, which I would call them, it might be a little weird for you. Either way. So what I also found that was really cool that was really cool was when I was doing the product demos or I was doing a tone course essentially for True Fire using those universal audio pedals and I was dialing up all kinds of different tones from the Edge to Eddie Van Halen and stuff like that and I found out that the Edge through James Santiago used these really thin .60s because he wanted that sort of a lot of flex and he also liked the scratchy feel like So I was like, all right, I had a .60 just lying around, don't know where it came from. That sounded good, but then when I went to the Marshall, I really liked it. And then I could also do like, you know, it was a lot easier to do that. Especially up here. The pick just flexed and it was a lot easier to kind of control and it worked. So I was really shocked that it sounded the way it did and it worked the way it did. So I thought we'll go back to a clean sound. Let's hear some Fender style extra heavy. Heavy. medium and you can hear that that medium doesn't have the girth of the bigger of the other two okay so there you go great sound I love the celluloid sound it's nice and smooth but I also for a long time played v picks and still do Vinny's a great guy um, and he sent me a couple new ones um, these are this is one of my favorites this is the tradition it's basically like that fender style I use the blunt side and I always used it because it paired well with my acrylic fingernails sounded very similar pick finger pick finger play something fast it would but I'm really digging these Dunlops it's crazy 
it's funny because it kind of gets a little bit farty and a little frumpy sounding. So when you're doing that kind of stuff, the flex that the pick gives you is great. Then I stumbled upon two other two other picks. Now I've been kind of working on some of my jazz stuff, just getting some fun licks and stuff in my, back into my playing. The Dunlop, I think it's called the 208. It's a pretty big guy, pretty thick. And then I have um, a blue chip. Um, this is the Kenny Smith pick, classic $35 pick. <laughs> it's small, but it does feel really good. a good tone. And then listen how much darker this Dunlop sounds. Cool. Uh, so, I've been having a blast with picks. I thought I'd talk to you guys a little bit about them. And what I did was I rustled up some links for them. If you want to check them out, you can go do that in the video description. And if you're encouraged to buy some, you can use those links. It helps out the channel. And not that you guys haven't been helping out a lot. You've been so gracious with the subscriptions and the likes and signing up to get free tabs and tracks. So, that's pretty much it. I had a, a couple crazy weeks. We had a lot of flooding here in Nashville and just... Uh, after I, I'm so glad I put that roof on because <laughs> we'd have rain in the house, I'm sure. Uh, so more stuff to work on in the house and every little bit you guys help uh, do help. So thanks so much for the subscriptions, the likes, the donations, the tip jar, all that kind of stuff. I appreciate it. But in any case, that's the deal on the picks for today. Um, if you can have fun with picks, I have because I've been buying them and trying them. So that's all you got to do. And again, thanks so much for the support. Great to see you guys all the time. More lessons, more demos. Stick around, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you. Thanks so much for hanging.